Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today, and this is going to be looking at the continuation to the C Sharp series, and we're going to be looking into um, input types or using the input manager to do things within your code for C Sharp. Now this is pretty important whether you want to, you know, be able to sprint, pick up items, do anything with the keyboard or any input that you will find when you're using a game. So whether, you know, you want to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, any different numerical key on your keyboard. Now I will go through a few ways that you can go about doing these things and maybe better ways that you can do it and I will explain what the input manager is, what it does and what it helps us achieve. Now. The example that I've got here, I will help you make a script um, after to show you how to do it. But in our update um, method here, what we've got is an if statement which says input dot get key down key code dot a with two brackets, and then we're going to run a line of code if that is true. Now, what this means is what get key means is that it will get a key from your keyboard as long as it's the key code that you want. So in this case, we want, as long as we press down on the key, we want the key code A, which is A on the keyboard. So if we hit A on the keyboard, we expect to see the debug line have a party in Unity or anything else that we intend to do with then. If you press any other key, it won't do anything. And there's three different types of input or um, that you can actually do. Now, in my example here, um, I will go into this a bit more thoroughly. We can use, compared to this, get key down, we can use get button down. And get button allows us to use the input manager. And the input manager lets us specify a key in there so then when we come to run the game, if you've built it out for Unity, we can, you can easily remap it for anybody who might want to use it. So say people don't want to use the button you've given, they can remap it to whatever they want. Whereas if we use the get key, they would be forced to use A no matter what they try to remap their controls to. So it's better to use um, those actual um, items rather than the actual get key option. So if we use get button, you can see that there's a get button down, get button, and get button up. And the, they're all very similar. Get button down means you have to press the key or press the keystroke all the way down. And it means that it will only be activated once when you've pressed it all the way down. Get button up is similar, but it's only when the key is all the way up and you've almost you've let go of it will it activate only once and get button means that you can press it and if you hold it it will activate for as long as the button is held down so say get button would be something for say you sprint and you would hold the button down for sprinting or maybe you were dragging a physics object with a particular key you would need to hold the key uh, actual down so you'd need to use get button whereas if you were just doing a command that you only needed to do with one click say opening a door picking up an item that went into an inventory then you would only use, need to use get button down because it only needs to be done once on one click now the debug.log line just means it's something different each time it's to just display it so we can save those out um, depending on what line now we'll go through this with you so you can create your new script and I've just called it input key type and from there what we can write is if input dot get button down and we'll use get button down in this instance instance and then we'll say in brackets we're going to say quotes and we're going to just call this tb for um, test button or something like that then we'll add two curly brackets below and then we'll have a debug dot log and then in quotes we'll just say do something here and then what we'll do is we'll add a semicolon to end that statement we'll save that out and here we're not really specifying a key, we're just specifying a string almost or a name that we're going to give to something in a minute. So what we'll do is we'll go into Unity again and we'll go Edit, Project Settings, Input and you will notice that I already had one created here called TB but say you don't 
and you will probably start off with however many um, items you have here in the input manager list now to add another you just add one to the actual count that you've already got so I had 18 I'm gonna set that to 19 it will add another button which is just a copy of the last and you will set the name to whatever you wanted to reference it in the script so mine was TB so I'll have it to uppercase T and B we want the positive button to be whatever button we want this to be so we'll set it to R for this we'll get rid of alt alternate positive um, button you can also look on the unity um, document page which will tell you about conventional input types or conventional game input and they'll say that you can use normal keys um, number keys and they will sort of give you an idea of what right right shift and left shift and how they're meant to be spelled in that case now what we can do is you can see that my positive button is a lowercase r that's fine I can leave the rest of it as it is as long as the type is a key or a mouse button now what I can do is I can go onto the main camera drag the input key type what I'll do is I'll get rid of um, that stuff from the inspector because that's not for this particular so what we expect to see is that when we um, hit R it's going to just push push that debug line out so if we press play and then I press R you can see that it's just said do something here so that's nice and easy so when we've pressed out we can change it I know you can't see my keyboard but it's good if you want to test this out yourself you can go to input you could change this to something like E and then I press uh, go back on to run the game and I press E so if I go to run the game and press E it will say something here again and we can do the same thing we can add as many as we um, think we might need so we can have if input dot get button down and then in quotes we could use TT for instance and what I'll do is I'll just copy those two or those three lines, paste them in, and I will say do something. Well, we'll say do something else for this and TT. So very similarly, we will be able to say that edit project settings input. We can add another, so we can add twenty to the size, and you will see it's just a copy. We can add TT there. We can have the positive button R ah, this time. I'll make sure that it isn't capitalized. So that's fine. So we should expect to use E and R when we go to play. So when we press E, we expect to see um, do something. And then when we press R, we'll do something here. So if you're looking at the bottom corner, we'll press E, do something here, and R, ah, do something else. So that allows us to when the game is built out, especially for Windows, you get a little dialog box beforehand and you'll be able to remap the keys accordingly to whatever you need it to be. And you can do the exact same thing with the um, get button down, up or just get button by itself. It just depends how you want to use it yourself. So you always remember it's input dot get button, get button down or get button up, and whatever you want to do inside your curly brackets. This debug dot log line is just an example, and you use your input manager by going to edit project settings and input, and you can adjust things accordingly there. And if you ever want to look anything up, you just go to the Unity documentation to potentially help you out. So hopefully this maybe helped you get an idea of using inputs and getting it to work with the input manager so you don't have everything hard coded into your script. So again, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.